Legends, welcome to this uh, client interview I've got here. It's actually a special guest uh, we've got here today, Blake Randall. He's the owner and founder um, of Inner Power Coaching, which is a one-on-one PT um, high-end business that uh, located in Brisbane, actually operating out of three SNAP locations in Brisbane. And um, he's been working with us here at the agency. I want to bring him on so he can share all, this, all the cool stuff that's been happening with him. Um, but Blake, welcome. Thanks for coming on, my man. Thank you, Jimmy. Really appreciate it. Um, so I want to dive just right into it and tell, um, tell everybody a little bit about, about your business and what it was like before you and I met. So, mates, uh, look, IPC has been around now, coming on around four years. Uh, started when my wife and I got married and uh, we basically combined our two sole trader companies into, into a company. And um, so beforehand, we we're both working independently out of, you know, different, uh, different franchise rent-based facilities. And um, we basically both built uh, what we had and we built our businesses organically. And we did that through uh, multiple different ways, uh, walking the floor, lead boxes, member databases, that sort of thing. So we definitely built up to a considerable amount of, uh, of obviously business and revenue just really organically. That's awesome, man. And um, what was the, uh, the point for you when you were like, you know what? there's got to be a reason for wanting to reach out to an ad agency. What was the reason that you've reached out to us specifically? I knew uh, probably since, when did we start? We started together maybe for the latter part of 2020 last year. And I knew since, um, I would say the mid 2017, right? I was dabbling, you could say, in online marketing because I knew how important it was to be able to scale. You know, if I wanted to grow beyond um, just one or two staff members, I knew that we needed to have something external out there doing work for us. Um, in a classic way, you could say marketing while we're asleep, for example, or marketing while we're not working ourselves. So um, I knew it was always going to be a something that we needed to do. It was a necessity. The hardest thing, however, in this industry as well is finding people, like you can find Facebook marketing people you know, you can find them in the Philippines, you can find them all over the planet, right? The hardest thing, though, is finding people that are good in our industry, number one. And number two, just know the industry back to front. Um, and that was the reason why, you know, we reached out to you, Jimmy. Awesome, man. Um, because you're looking for somebody, obviously if you just open your inbox on Facebook, you've got probably like five people messaging you saying, Hey, I'm a great marketer. I use my service. <laughs> it's crazy. So many, it? man. There's yeah. so many. And, and, you know, just because you think you're good at marketing real estate, for example, or marketing alcohol or something like that, doesn't mean you're going to be a good uh, fitness marketer, you know? And so it's so important. Like I always knew like if I was going to get business coaching, for example, I'm going to get business coaching from someone who is in the business that I'm in. So if I'm going to hire someone externally, I'm going to find someone who specializes in the business, in the industry that I'm based in. And, you know, it's easy, easier said than done uh, yeah. to find someone that's in the same industry, but also upholds integrity at the same time. Okay. So, I, well, thank, I appreciate that because that's what I'm assuming you're obviously in, uh, suggesting that, that we fit the bill, um, obviously, because we've been working together. Um, and yeah, we are industry specific and, uh, like we've been in the gym, I've been in the gym game myself for eight years now. Um, but what was that point where you were like, yep, now is the time now I've got to do it. Like what was happening in your business where you're like, okay, I need to, um, speak to Jimmy. So actually June and July last year was significant growth periods for us. Very significant. And we did that through all, uh, I guess coming back when the gyms reopened and and didn't reopen, we, we hit the ground running. So we we're actually in a great position. Um, but with that being said, I was like, look, given that we have this growth season and this momentum, you know, we've got to keep it going. And that's why we reached out to you because I was like, look, at the end of the day, you know, we, we, we were hiring more people and we were uh, obviously expanding our, our books. So we we're looking after a lot more individuals as well. And there was no way that um, at that time and even now that I thought I would have the capacity to be like, okay, I can do this Facebook thing on my own. I just, 
you know, the, the power of, I guess, outsourcing to someone better than you just makes sense in my book. Because I could easily do a, a weekend course on Facebook ads, but I'm still not going to be good at them. I'm still not going to keep up with the algorithm changes. I'm still not going to be, I'm going to be spinning so many different plates. And marketing is the most important feature of a company. Of sales is in there as well, but if no one knows who you are, then it's tricky. You're relying on, like I said, referrals and organic uh, posts. So for us, we're in this uh, season of expansion. And I was like, well, we got to keep this momentum. And that's why we reached out to you. Awesome, man. And uh, well, that's transition now. Obviously, you reached out. We started doing some work together. So fill us in. What's some of the, um, the data, the stats that you've got from uh, after us being working together for a couple of months now? Yeah, so I think um, anyone watching this, you know, they should know that there's there's a little bit, and it's the same as if someone, you know, if you're after this coach, obviously you can take on a client. Like with a new client, there's a discovery season, right? What that means is you're trying in the first three, four, five weeks, you're trying to learn what best fits your niche and what best fits the market and best fits the offer, you know? So, you know, uh, we, we tried a couple of different offers initially, like 28 day offers for men, 28 day offers for women. But what worked really well um, over the last, you know, two, three, four months has been uh, 10 and 12 week challenges. Um, and we've been doing that with specifically men focused, uh, male focused. So, you know, when we, when we switch to that, I'm just going to use those stats. So um, this will be since November. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so since November, we've generated 70 leads, um, 70 qualified leads. That's with mobiles, emails, all that sort of stuff being completely authentic. I do have to chime in here as well is there has been a period where we weren't delivering ads because of yeah. uh, <laughs> unforeseen uh, Facebook ad banning issues, which we rectified for you. But there was a period of like, intermittent delivery so it probably would have been yeah. more if we had um, been able to deliver but we rectified that problem for you that's it and that's what i mean like during that discovery season there's there's going to be things that you know may not just go go away and you're just going to be able to go around that but let's just say this is just when and uh, all things being smooth all right yeah. well, when, you got 70 there's, leads there's, yeah. there's times that was smooth yeah so 70 leads um with that 70 leads um, I don't know the math on this, but overall, uh, we put in around 2,800 or so with that 70 leads. Now, out of that as well, we converted uh, 16 of these. Um, we had uh, 29 face-to-face. -face, so that's around 55% or a bit higher conversion rate. Nice. Our contract value is around 1,350, 1,400. And so with that being said, it was around a 21,000, uh, 21K revenue that we awesome. got out of it, 2,800. So it's- so Put uh, in 2,800, got out 21. Yeah, put in 2,800, got out uh, 21,000, 21K. That's awesome, man. And uh, that's initial contract value that we're talking about. We're not talking about uh, lifetime value after the 12 weeks. A lot of these people are gonna be with us for quite some time, that's for sure. Um, yeah. You know, and that's the thing about uh, about marketing outside is because you got you got so many different people like who don't like they don't like the like they get hammered with you know join anytime on on this and join you know EMF and join these big box facilities and it just goes over their head they don't want that and so you know, you're limited in that fact that you only have a certain amount of person that joins a facility but when they see a Facebook ad and they're like okay, this person's speaking to me, they're more likely to inquire. And, you know, with that being said as well, like being at a rent-based facility, we've signed up all of these members to the facility as well. So it's worked part and parcel. That's awesome, man. And uh, what is this now allowing you to do now that you've got these consistent leads, these consistent sales appointments being booked in, making consistent sales? What is this allowing you to do now as a business moving forward? Well, it means that we have certainty in scale. Uh, you know, and, and when we first had our first phone call, I was saying, look, I want to be able to go into facility, market, say, put X amount into marketing on that one location, and then 
basically that new staff member that begins is really fully booked, you know, and that and, and now it gives us that ability, you know, in the, in the second, third week of Jan now, um, and, you know, the momentum is, is really starting to, to build. And how's that and, feel, uh, being able to do that? It feels like you're, you're a lot more in control. And I think as, as a business owner, you've got to make sure that everything that you, with all the different things that could go wrong, for example, like, you know, Jim's been locked for a couple of days here and there. And, and even with that being said, like there's, there's different things that could go wrong, you know, with Facebook ads and whatnot, doesn't matter. We know that if we follow the formula and we tweak it the right ways, we're going to get an ROI. There's that certainty to wrap that yeah. up, right? Certainty yeah, and clarity. And, and it gives you, um, to summarize what I'm hearing here, it's probably confidence of knowing that you can get the growth target and goals that you've set for yourself for the business moving forward. That's it. Awesome. And um, apart from like the actual stats, what else is, how else has it been like working with us here at the agency? What's your experience been like? Well, the agency is great. I think, um, any sort of questions, any sort of, uh, you know, feedback required. At the end of the day, I mean, if, if I do have a question, I'll put it on, you know, the chat with all your staff members and at least one of them will get back to me within the next couple of hours. So, you know, the communication is very clear and that's one of my, you know, my staff members as well, that's my highest, one of my highest values is the communication and getting things, you know, if there is a potential issue that's there, we go resolve it within due time, you know? So, and that's definitely what I've experienced here. There's been no, no lag time when it comes to reduce the results, which has been fantastic. And I think, you know, um, any, anyone that, that wants to get something done straight away, like it's a pretty much, you know, I think if I remember joining up with you, Jimmy, within three days, we had ads live. Correct. You know, yeah, three day we, turnaround. We, we joined up on the, on the Thursday, for example, and by Monday they were live. So, you know, that's the sort of thing you could expect. Awesome. And so final thoughts for anybody that's, you know, watching this is obviously we're going to be putting this in an ad or on our landing or on our website for, you know, anybody that's watching this and they've watched it all the way to the end, they're still here and they're considering, you know, sitting on the fence. What's your piece of advice to them? Well, my piece of advice with this, uh, I think you, you can't afford not to uh, invest in the marketing. You can't afford not to invest in people that are better than you. Okay, your job is uh, the best thing that you do is is delivering as a coach. Okay, you need to be able to outsource and delegate to people that are better you, better than you, at other areas of business. Okay, um, still you need to learn and educate yourself around these ads, but that also comes through communication with someone like like Jim Boss. So, look at the end of the day, guys, if you're on the fence and you're looking to grow, um, there are very few people in this country in Australia and New Zealand, that will produce what Jimmy has been able to produce, especially with our uh, specific niche and our market. So, you know, uh, if we can do that with our specific niche and market, with your gym yourself, it should be pretty much a sure thing. Awesome. Blake, I appreciate it, my man. Thank you so much for coming on. And guys, if you are watching this on an ad or on our um, website somewhere, there's going to be a button somewhere on this page somewhere. If you listen to Blake's story and you're like, man, that's pretty cool. I want the same stuff or you at least want to find out how it all works in a bit more detail. Click the button somewhere on this page, fill in the application, book a time and you'll be able to speak with me directly and we can chat about how we can do the same thing for you and your gym. Blake, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on and I'll speak to you soon, legend. Thank you.